What's going on, everyone? So as this season progresses, we're starting to unpack and unravel a little bit more of that village uh, that was discovered at the beginning of the season, right? Jim and uh, Kenny ended up going uh, to venture into the woods to try to find Tabitha, stumbled across this village. Uh, Tien died. I still stand by that that was a sacrifice to reward the town for food because I don't think it's a coincidence that as soon as she died, literally the next morning, they find the food to feed the town. And they explored the area prior, and it wasn't like miles down the road. It was literally like, you know, Jim is yelling for Kenny, and Kenny gets out of the little hut and like goes like 10 steps, and then there's the food. So I do believe that that was the case in that regard. But uh, there's been a lot of kind of mystery surrounding this village. Like, how long has it been vacant? Is it still vacant, right? Like, there's clearly a monster that's running around that place that keeps getting referenced, which is what I want to talk about in this video. Uh, but you're starting to see that Tabitha, she was the one that uh, had dreams and visions of this place, or nightmares, as she put it, uh, that were as a child, she had very detailed descriptions, right? Like she's in the previous episode was literally breaking down. Like, you know, I'm running through here. I can still feel it. I hid behind this rock specifically. Right. And then she would not be able to see the monster because every time the monster show up, she would wake up, right? She'd hide, scream, and then wake up every single time. Uh, but I imagine that this is going to continue to be a key fixture in this show. Um, will they resolve it? by the end of the season, because we only have three episodes left, or will this be something that kind of bleeds into the next season, uh, which I could see happening. I just feel like there's a lot of information to unpack with this little new village that they've discovered. Uh, do they even, like, half the town, do they end up kind of moseying on over there? Right, That'll be kind of interesting to see how that plays out. Do Ellis and Fatima, is that where they eventually end up, right? Because Fatima's kind of going off the rails. A lot of questions in that regard that I just, I don't necessarily see them unpacking all of it in the next three episodes. Uh, however, you never know, right? Maybe maybe that's kind of what the, the, the climax culmination of this season is, is something with the village. But specifically, I want to talk about the monster, creature, whatever it is that's out there, uh, because we constantly have gotten reference to it, and even in the previous episode, got a mention, right, when Jim is is with those kind of just, you know, throwaway characters, uh, they're making their way back to, to the town before Tabitha and Jade and Ethan show up, uh, they kind of throwaway line mentioned that, yeah, like that monster was definitely not what we're accustomed to, right? There's something else out there. Uh, you saw it when Kenny and, you know, Christy and everyone went to that town. They, they hear the monster kind of roaming around out there in the village. And we've seen other areas have different, like, kind of creatures or, you know, different type of uh, elements that, that change, right? When Boyd ventured in the forest with all the spiders and stuff, right? Obviously the dungeon. Uh, that doesn't seem to be too, too far off, right? Like, we have no idea, like, where that, where Boyd ended up with the spiders and all that stuff, but Village is, seems to be a decent walk, like, you can walk there and back within a day, uh, before the sun sets, and then also, um, you can go to, uh, the, as we saw, as Julie, as well as, uh, Randall, they ended up driving and stumbling across that the, the where the dungeon was. It's the ruins now, but the dungeon was at one point, and we saw Boyd uh, be able to walk and, like, venture there. So those places can't be too far. Uh, however, what monster could be roaming? And my thing is, like, okay, I've seen people throw out, like, a Wendigo or, you know, uh, some type of ancient monster, right, Look, through various folklores, right? Because this show is very rooted in folklore and mythology and stuff, so like, you know, like a Wendigo kind of makes sense, something like Skinwalker, like things like that do absolutely make sense, and I could potentially see something along those lines, like I'm not trying to rule that out, my question is like, is it just tied to that area of the forest, right, because if there is this monster, this creature that's running around, why hasn't it ventured into the actual town? Right? Like, why hasn't it potentially tracked people? Because now people are going from the town to the village. 
and people lived in the village, right? And we don't know how long, like, the monsters have been there, right? Because, like, for example, uh, Victor, he was a young child and was there for a long time just by himself. Now, we see in the, the massacre that, that we ended up getting when Victor was a child, we see everyone kind of looks like they were ripped apart uh, by the monsters, but was that something before, or were there different monsters? Maybe that creature was roaming around. Maybe Victor knows what that creature is. Maybe Victor has a way. Like, I would be, like, I don't know why Tabitha hasn't, like, ran to Victor, because Victor's been there so long. Does Victor know? I mean, Victor knew about the bottle tree. He knows about all the trees. He knows a lot about this place, right? Like, he's gone in the tunnels. Like, he was very familiar with areas of the tunnels. You'd imagine that Victor might have some knowledge, some insight into that village, right? I, I don't I don't imagine he's just oblivious to it. I don't imagine he's like, oh, I, I have no idea, right? Like, I would imagine that he has some, you know, maybe it's something that needs to be unlocked, but... Why would it, like, every time there is a question in this place, my first answer would be like, let me go ask Victor, <laughs> right? Like, I don't know why no one else in this show, it drives me crazy, because it's just like, every time, like, some new information or a new place or whatever ends up happening, I'm like, why aren't they immediately running to Victor and see if he knows? I, like, it may, worst case, he doesn't, but, it, like, that would be my starting point every single time, <laughs> right? Like, but anyway... You know, it all started when we saw Jim and Kenny get into, uh, find the, the little village, uh, with all the statues, right? Now, there's been a, a thought that the statues are what's keeping something out. What if those statues are actually keeping it in? And that's why they're not going to the town. And Jade ended up tearing apart one of those statues. So... Could we eventually see that monster make its way to the town and just like start running through people, right? What if that, what if we get like another, because we've kind of, there, there's constantly been this like talk and Victor's trying to like prevent another massacre. We, we constantly keep getting this talk like that's coming, that's coming, that's coming. And it kind of feels like it's been building up to that, but we have yet to, to see anything like that. What if that monster was the one that actually tore through all the town people previously, and now this monster is going to come back, and those little, you know, uh, sculptures are to keep him from getting to the town, right? Like, the idea is that, no, like, those things are to keep the monsters from getting out, like, maybe they operate the same way as the talismans, right? But what if the tal what if it does, but in the sense of, like, it keeps, it, it's to keep that monster in that little area, Right, so it can't get out of their little area. Because that, that's my biggest thing. Like, whatever the monster is, obviously I have a curiosity and I want to know what it is. Right? Wendigo, skinwalker, whatever, whatever it turns out to be. I that doesn't like I'm patient enough to to wait to have that unveiling. Maybe it's a monster that they just create. Right? I like that doesn't really bother me. Like, that's not uh, as big of a question to me as the why hasn't that thing ever gone to the town? Why hasn't that thing ever, why haven't we seen it running through the town? I mean, the monsters are just walking through the forest, you know, aimlessly at times. Well, not aimlessly, because we know that they have a purpose, that they do the same thing every single time, right? Like, why haven't they freed the monster, right? Like, it's just, that's my thing, is that, like, you have this creature that's out there that is clearly different than the monsters we're accustomed to. So why hasn't, why is that monster just specific to that area, to those huts? I like, why hasn't it now that people are like, I can understand before if like no one's been to that area in like, you know, whatever, like 30 years, right. Or a hundred years or however long it's been vacant for, right. I can see the monster maybe isn't, uh, isn't aware that, you know, 10 miles down the road or whatever it is, there's a town full of people, right? And it just kind of stays to its own thing. Or, you know, it, you could argue maybe it's like, you know, like a bear where, you know, like a bear won't really like go into it. I mean, you know, on occasion, but usually like they're, they're more afraid of people than that. Is that the case? Is it just like, you know, it doesn't go to the town because there, there are people. And so it's kind of just like the, hey, let me stay away. But it's running around the people that are staying in the hunt. 
right? And the town at night, we know, is, like, completely quiet. So, like, why wouldn't it at least ever run through at night? That's my, that's my point, right? Like, I just, I think it makes more sense that it, that that's what those little sculptures and statues are, is it's to keep the monster at bay. It's not to keep monsters from getting into the village. It's to keep monsters from getting out of the village. And, you know, we, we haven't seen, at least top of my head that I can remember, uh, any monsters walking through that village. Right? So maybe that's why. It's like when you go in, you can't get out. So they just kind of mosey around. Right? And maybe that creature is just, it's just tied to where those statues are, just whatever that square footage is you know, hides during the day or sleeps during the day and then just is out on the prowl at night running around living its best life. And if you just happen to be out at night, I, I, like, I obviously we're going to get what that monster is at some point, or at least I hope, right? We're going to get to see that monster at some point. It kind of feels like that's going to happen this season. But beyond that, I really want to know kind of, you know, outside of what it is, like, what are like kind of the rules? for it, right, like, again, like, the monsters we see, Randall even said, they do the same, like, there's, like, rules for the monsters, right, they do the same thing every night, they're very, they're precise, like, to the point, right, like, nothing ever changes, everything's the same in that place, I mean, even Victor has talked about, like, nothing ever changes in this place, right, he said, you know, it never snowed here before, and why is that a problem, because nothing ever changes, right, like, everything is very specific in this place, it's the, the same old, you know, nine to five, you wake up, go to sleep, right? It's just the, the routine of this place. Well, now you have this like just monster that has just been thrown into the mix of it and is now in the thick of it. Like, does that have a routine? Are there rules to him? Like, is he not allowed to go to the town? Right? Is he kind of like only relegated to that area? That's kind of what it feels like. Cause it's just like, man, you have this creature that's just running around the town. All these people are starting to walk back and forth. It's not picking up any of their scents. It's not, you know, picking up any of their tracks. Nothing. Right? It, like, it hasn't, not once decided, like, and it's not like this, you know, we've only had Kenny and Jim and that's it. No, like, we're constantly having people come back and forth from the village to the town to just, you know, harvest the food and stuff like that and take it back to town. I mean, loads of people at times. So, I just think, you know, like, why hasn't the monster picked anything up is my point and followed it to town but anyway as always this is a discussion and i pass a question on to you let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below do you kind of have the same issues that i have you kind of have the same thoughts and stuff as i do um or do you kind of look at it as like ah you know it's uh you know it, we'll, we'll just be patient and see how it goes do you think that nah it's just like maybe it's relegated do you think it's the statues that have them relegated do you think it's something else again however you feel whatever your thoughts are i love to hear it so let me know down in the comments below. That being said, if you haven't liked this video, hit that like button. Helps me a lot. So we enjoy these types of videos, and I truly appreciate it. Not subscribe channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn on the bell notifications. Appreciate y'all. See you in the next one. Thank you.